Hi, let's talk about bottom watering. My favorite watering method for so many reasons and how I use it to water from one plant to 100 plants. The first thing that we want to do is super important and it is even before we start watering. This is to check if your plant needs water. This is very important because we want to prevent overwatering our plants. And the way that I check is that I stick my finger in the soil until the second knuckle and once I feel that the soil is drying out or dry depending on the plant, I water. And note that I say depending on the plant because sometimes for example the calatheas or the marantas like the soil to be moist at all times whereas in other cases such as the succulents or some cacti like the soil to dry in between watering. So I usually check every week all of my plants for the calatheas and marantas I check that the soil is drying out but not completely and for the succulents and cacti I make sure that the soil is really dry before I water again. Another way to check if your plant needs water is by looking at the leaves. For some plants you're gonna see that the leaves are gonna start losing color when they're thirsty. This is the case for example with a spider plant or with the bird's nest fern. With some other plants you're gonna see that the leaves start to droop. A good example for this is the peace lily or the croton. Once you see that the leaves on your peace lily are droopy you can check the soil just to make sure and if you see that the soil is dry then your peace lily needs water and you should water right away. The last way that you can check if your plant needs water is by lifting the pot up. This is especially useful if you have plastic pots because plastic pots tend to be lighter so if you feel that the plant is really light that means that the soil is not as moist anymore. Of course I always check the soil anyways with my finger just to make sure and to really prevent overwatering. Another important thing to know before we start watering is the type of water that we're going to be using. Some plants such as the Dracaena compacta or the Calatheas are very sensitive to tap water. This is because depending on your region tap water may have some chemicals or salts that are good for us but not good for our plants and this will make the water very harsh on your plant. So I always recommend that if you can try to avoid tap water. You can always use distilled water or better yet rain water so you can collect water while it is raining outside and use this water for your plants. Of course if you decide to use tap water you can make it less harsh by pouring it in a bucket and let it be for 48 hours before you water your plants. This will release some of the chemicals from the water and it will be less harsh for your plant. You can also filter the tap water. This is what I usually do at home. I use this one right here. I just pour the water in and the filter does its job. And I can tell you my calatheas and my dracinas seem to be happy like this. So yeah, you can also try that out. Okay, let's get to the watering method. As you may know, I love bottom watering my plants and in this video I'm going to share two methods with you. The first one is going to be very useful if you have fewer plants. So this is maybe one to ten plants. The second one is the one that I'm using right now and I find it really helpful because it's very efficient and since I have many many plants this has been a very good method for me. So for the first method all you have to do is to fill up a bucket or a container with water and submerge your plants all the way down. Make sure that your container has drainage holes because that's where the water is gonna get into the soil. You can leave it there for about 15 minutes or so and a great way to know that the water is well absorbed in the soil is when you stop seeing bubbles coming up the surface. This is gonna be in about 15 minutes or so so that's when I lift up the pot and this is the time that I let the excess water drain down through the drainage holes. I love this method because it really helps me make sure that the water gets to the roots from below and that the soil is moist but not super wet or with excess of water. If your plants are healthy you can use that same water for the next plant and that is pretty great because we will save water in the process. Now since I have many many plants this method can be very time consuming. So we found a more efficient method for bottom watering our plants and this one is also super easy. The way that it works is that I have these two boxes right here. So so this one goes on top of one of the boxes like so and then I place as many plants as I can in the other box. The next step is to pour water on the top of each one of my plants 
and let it drain down through the drainage holes. So as you can see, the water will stay in the box. I let my plant stand there for about 15 minutes or so, so they can absorb more water from the bottom. And then I lift them up and I put them on the rack so the excess water can drain down. You can always use the water in the first box to water the next batch of plants. Now, very important, when reusing the water, make sure that your plants are healthy and free of pests. If you have a plant that is being attacked by pests, it's better to water them separately. That way, you're not moving the pests around from plant to plant. Now, as promised, here is an extra tip to make sure that your moist-loving plants are happy. For my asparagus ferns and calatheas, I found this tool right here. This is a terracotta watering globe. And it has proven to be really useful for me because it makes sure that the soil stays moist but not super wet at all times. All we need to do is to pour some water from the top here and fill it up. And as you know, terracotta is a porous material. So the water will be absorbed by the terracotta and released to the soil. And I can tell you for me, this lasted for about two weeks. And all I have to do is refill it every two weeks or so. So it is very helpful. I really like these watering methods because they help me save a little bit more water. My plants are thriving and happy and I make sure that the soil is moist, but not super wet. And I would love to know what is your favorite way to water your plants. Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao. <laughs>